with limits. So some of these are, are uh, local behaviors. Some of these are endpoint behaviors. So we have to be careful and kind of treat them a little bit differently. So this one here, we want to try to simplify because we're trying, we have a zero in the bottom and it looks like we have uh, 18 minus, uh, well, we don't have zero in the bottom here. So what do we have here? So we, we don't actually have, I, I factored this, but we don't really need to factor this because when I plug this in, what I'm going to end up with is I'm going to end up with uh, 18 minus 350. I'm going to end up with 12 over 3 times 0, okay? which really this is going to be infinite. However, there's a problem here because from as a one-sided limit, okay, if I zero, divide it from 0 from the positive side, I would get something different than if I divided 0 from the negative side. So although if as a one-sided limit, this would be equal to negative infinity or positive infinity, as a two-sided limit, this does not exist. Okay. So just to clarify here, if I were to change this problem, to x equals 3 from the negative side of 2x squared minus x minus 3. Okay, so what would end up happening is I would end up with 12 over 3. And then this 0 would be from the negative side, so I'd end up with negative 0. So this would be negative infinity. Okay, because if I've divided by 2.999 minus 3, that's a negative number. I'm going to divide by a negative number. If I were to do this from the other side, okay, 2x squared minus x minus 3 over x times x minus 3. Okay, I'm still going to plug in the 3. I'm still going to get the 12. I'm still going to get 3 here. But now I'm going to approach x the 3 from the positive side, so for example, 3.1 minus 3 is a positive number. So I'm going to be dividing by positive 0, which is negative infinity. Okay, so if I were to sketch this graph, I have a vertical asymptote at 3. And because it's looking different from this side, okay, it's going up this way and down this way at x equals 3. This we have to say that as a two-sided limit, it doesn't exist. As one-sided limits, it does exist in this way. Oops, so this is going to be positive infinity here. Okay, okay well, what about this one here? This is endpoint behavior. What's happening as x gets really large? Well, we can look at the powers here. We have an equivalent power of x squared square root, which is the same as x. And then this x is actually a square root x, becomes insignificant. Really, we can just kind of ignore that part. And then we can compare what's going on here. Okay, Because really, this is going to be root 5x over 3x. Okay? And oops, I should make sure that, well, that's going to be what it is. And those x's are essentially going to cancel out. And so we're going to end up with our limit as root 5 over 3. Okay, And we, as long as the powers can compare, then we can just compare the ratio of the coefficients.